Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another exciting episode of two fighter planes being compared. In this video, we'll talk about two top fighters, one from Pakistan, the J-10, which was just purchased, and another from India, the Tejas Mark II, which is an upgraded version of the previous model. Both planes have single engines and delta wings, with the J-10 being significantly longer and larger. It had ventral air intakes, swept front canards, and low wing position wings. The Tejas Mark II has a high wing layout with body side air intakes, making it appear smaller and more agile. The J-10 has been in operation since 2005, with roughly 468 of its three types, the J-10A, J-10B, and the most sophisticated J-10C, in service. The LCA Tejas Mark IA, on the other hand, was only ordered in January of this year, and the IF will get 83 of them starting in 2023. The Tejas Mark II is nearing the end of its development. Let's go through each aircraft's specifications one by one. The J-10 has a 3860 kg internal fuel capacity and a 3120 kg external fuel capacity. The internal fuel capacity of the LCA Tejas MK2 is 3,400 kg, whereas the external fuel capacity is 3,500 kg. The indigenous developed Shenyang WS-10 engine, which can produce 140 kN of thrust, propels the J-10. The LCA Tejas MK2, on the other hand, is propelled by a single General Electric F414 which can provide 98 kN thrust, with an afterburner produces 110 kN. The J-10 can cruise at 2305 km per hour, Mach 2.1, whereas the LCA Tejas MK2 can fly at 2385 km per hour. Active electronically scanned array, ESA, radars are found on the J-10 B and C, as well as the LCA Mark 1A and future Mark II. The autumn radar is most likely to be found on the Mark II. The Israeli Elta 2052 is still available. The J-10 has a combat range of 900 km and a ferry range of 3200 km, whereas the LCA Tejas MK2 has a combat range of 1500 km and a ferry range of 3500 km. The LCA Tejas MK2 has a service ceiling of 56,758 feet, whereas the J-10C has a service ceiling of 56,000 feet. The J-10C has a total of seven hard points. Six are located beneath the wing, while one is located beneath the fuselage. The Chinese fighter is equipped with a GSH-23 Gryazev Shipunov cannon and a 5600 kg external fuel capacity. The J-10C is equipped with 90mm unguided rocket pods and has a weapons payload ranging from PL-8-10-12. 15 air-to-air -air missiles to the KD-88 and IG-91 air-to-surface missiles. The Vigorous Dragon can carry laser-guided bombs, satellite-guided bombs and unguided bombs weighing 250 kg and 500 kg. Tejas Mark II features 13 hardpoints with a capacity of 6.5 tons and the ability to carry a variety of weapons such as the BrahMos, CATS Alpha, and unguided bomb. Storm Shadow, LRLACM, Crystal Maze, Sudarshan, 
Cluster Munition, Loitering Munition, Rudram 123, and Sudarshan are all expected to be included. Has 5 to 8 rocket pods and can launch missiles such as the R 73, I Derby, Python, Azram, Astra MK 1, and R 77. As part of its precision guided munition choices, the fighter jet has Rudrin 1 anti radiation missiles, KH 35 and 59 MK anti ship missiles, SPICE, HSLD, DRDO glide bombs, LGBs, cluster munitions, and unguided bombs. Sensor fusion is one area where the J-10C might outperform the Tejas. The capabilities of China's war machines is influenced by improvements in electronics, computation, computer hardware, and even AI. Many analysts believe the J-10C will also be equipped with a powerful electronic warfare U, system. By the time the Mark IIA enters service in 2028-2030, the PLOF will only have the J-10C type. The LCA Tejas MK2 has a quadruplex digital fly-by-wire flight control system with associated flight control laws. Extensive use of uber-sophisticated composites in the airframe gives a high strength to weight ratio, long fatigue life and low radar signature. Furthermore, the aircraft comes with a 23mm camera. The LCA Tejas MK1A is expected to cost $41 million, whereas the J-10C is expected to cost $35 million. Please tell us in the comments what you think about both fighter jets and which one you believe is superior in a conflict. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Please share this video and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed it.